Hey guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video and today I'm going to show you guys how to do my flawless face routine and how to achieve it. This is basically what I do all the time, so let's get started. So I already have my brows on. That's a whole video in itself. I'll show you guys how to do that later on. But I have my brows on and if you guys are curious as to what I used, I used the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder. So that's that. And this is in the shade number five. I really like this brow powder. It's been lasting for a while too. And I also like to go in with the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. So this is my favorite brow pencil. And this is in the shade Cool Cocoa. First thing you wanna do is make sure you moisturize. How you prepare your skin is gonna say a lot. So I started off with the Mario Badescu skincare. This is the facial mist that I always use. I would use the lavender one, the green tea one. His sprays are all pretty much great. This is the one with aloe, herbs, and rose water. One product that really changed my routine and my skincare is using an eye cream. And eye cream is so important being that I wake up at five something in the morning like this eye cream really helps brighten my under eye and you know it just make us look more alive in the morning i can't be looking like what my life is looking like right now you know what i'm saying so this is the ula hendrickson truth banana bright eye cream and this little thing does last a long time so this is it love this product uh, this is my second time buying it this is the full size one before I had the mini one but this product is pretty good that banana color is really gonna help brighten your under eye so after my eye cream I like to apply my face cream my moisturizer and I really like this moisturizer right now this is the Sephora three oils nourishing moisturizer this moisturizer is so I like thick moisturizers oh I'm so sorry. Let me tell you guys a little bit about my skin. So I have oily skin. But of course in the winter, I do get a little bit, you know, dehydrated. And I guess you could say I have oily combination skin. But yeah, make sure you guys moisturize your skin. It's cold out here in these streets. She belongs to the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's winter, we don't want to be ashy, we don't want to be flaky, we don't want our eczema flaring up. So make sure you moisturize and prep your skin. I actually have the eye cream to it too, which I really like. But this is my night eye cream. I'm not going to use my expensive eye cream like to sleep because ain't nobody going to see me. So I use this for a night and then I use the Ula Henriksen in the morning like if i want to you know go out so we're gonna go on to primer primer is so important i see a difference in my routine when i use a primer i'm gonna use the nyx pore filler i do have oily skin and you know when you have larger pores people with larger pores typically have oily skin and acne prone skin which i do have but right now i'm just like suffering from dark mark hyperpigmentation, discoloration, all that good stuff. Basically fill in my pores as much as I can. And also this is gonna help the longevity of my makeup and also help with oil production. Using a primer is always a good idea because it just helps your makeup last longer, it helps your makeup look better. And some primers actually help treat your skin. You gotta moisturize your lips. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. If you don't know about the gloss bombs by now, what are you doing? Well, this is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and I am in the shade Cadiz. So that's my shade. I'm in the shade Cadiz. It's a perfect match for me. I love how skin-like it looks, but it could be very full coverage. It could look natural. I think it makes my skin look great there was a lot of matte foundations that i was using before and it was just clinging on to my skin and i ain't like that and i already damped my sponge already but i just like to hit this spray with my 
sponge and i use this spray for everything guys i think it's a great investment it's like 12 dollars for the big one i'd use it before to go to bed i use it when i wake up in the morning in between my you know skincare routine in between my makeup routine like this spray just does it all i'm just gonna apply it straight on my face honestly so i'm gonna start off with three pumps and see where we go from there I love this foundation, but the one thing I have to say about this foundation is I feel like the pumps are so small. Like, don't be stingy. Give me a little more. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I don't know. Am I bugging? Am I being a cheapo or that's not like a lot for a foundation? I feel like I had other foundations that pumped out so much more. Just making sure I'm using a nice sponge. Don't be afraid to go in your hairline, okay? I know if we wear in the lace fronts and stuff, we concerned about that, but you know, you want to make sure your makeup is uncockable. Y'all might cock me, but that's cool. I'm with concealer. I have been experimenting a lot with concealers, and I finally gave in to the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This concealer is bomb. Like, I love this concealer. I don't know why it took so long for me to get it. Um, I love how big the concealer is. I love the applicator. I love the finish of the concealer. The formula, it's great. This is in the shade Warm Sand. And I also have the shade Cookie, which I first thought would be my shade. I use two different concealers. One to actually cancel out the darkness underneath my eyes and like hyper pigmentation and then a lighter color a highlight color to essentially highlight the areas that i need to brighten so i'm first gonna go in with warm sand by Too faced damn i should have contoured first wow it's cool. I like to let my concealer sit a little, you know. I like my concealer to really do its thing. Now I'm going to use my contour stick. This is the Fenty Beauty Truffle contour stick. Really good contour stick. So I'm going to take... I'm going to blow to essentially somewhere around there. Depending on your face shape, obviously you would do what's more suitable for you. And this is what I like to do. Contour like that. Um, I like to dot around the jawline just because I feel like it's easier to blend out. So I'll just hit that jaw. And this product is really easy to blend out too. I have a bigger forehead so, you know, I kind of do that. Next, I'm going to go and contour my nose. I like to go in with a brush directly and contour my nose. I could do it with a stick, but I like this method of doing it with a brush. I like to use this IT Cosmetics Dual End Brush, and I'll just hit that contour stick. Yeah, I essentially like to take my contour into the sockets of my eye because it looks more natural that way. Some people like to take it into the brow. That's up to you guys. Just hitting this one more time. I'm gonna blend out my contour brush. So this is a Real Techniques um, expert face brush. And I'm just going to essentially blend out my contour. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out here doing my thing. Still learning. We're gonna, you know, blend that out a little later, but I just wanna get this concealer before it dries too much. Might have dried a little bit too much. <laughs> but that's cool. I'm gonna blend that concealer upwards. 
that's another tip too with the spray if you feel like your concealer dried down a little too much go in with that facial mist it's gonna help melt that product in on an everyday basis i probably don't have time to cream contour but you know if i do have time i'll do this extra step but if i don't have time then i'll just go in with bronzer just going back in with my sponge I was having technical difficulties with my lights. Please bear with me. It's only like my first day out here. I don't know. I'm going to go in with Cookie. That other brighter shade that I showed you guys earlier. And I'm just going to hit closer to the actual eye. And just add a little... Just a little bit more brightness. You know the vibes with the spray. You can let this dry down, but I'm not gonna let it dry down. I'm gonna show you guys like my lighting setup eventually. Because I always gave myself excuses to start on this YouTube channel. I always wanted to start a YouTube channel. And I'm like, oh, when I'm older, when I get money, when I get equipment. I'm not getting any younger and nowadays like iPhones are so advanced so right now I'm filming off my iPhone and if we pay all this money for iPhones why can't we use it for filming you know and I just wanted to stop giving myself excuses and just start filming I'm gonna go with my favorite baking powder this is a Sasha buttercup setting powder and this powder is amazing. This is a black owned brand created in Trinidad. I'm gonna take some powder and press this powder underneath my eyes. Boom, boom, boom. Ula Caramel by Benefit. I really like this bronzer, it's amazing. And this is a Morphe R7 brush. A little goes a long way with this product, so I'm just gonna hit the forehead. Then I'm gonna hit it up here. And then after that, Yeah, normally I would contour first and do my concealer. And then bake. So I'm just baking underneath that bronzer. I like to use the Sephora Micro Smooth powder this is in the shade tan it's dirty not gonna hold you it's dusty i'll just go in with like a fluffy brush so i'm gonna take my real technique this is like a blush brush or yeah blush brush and i'm gonna go in i don't really use blush but you can use blush if you want to but if i chose to use a blush i like the nars like these liquid blushes that are really cute like a peachy one and then the more rosy one i would typically go for those actually let me go for it um don't be afraid to get samples from sephora don't be ashamed sephora becomes a pretty penny you know so i got a sample of their nars blush and so i'm just gonna warm it up in my hands and this is gonna look scary for a little but i promise it's okay. So I'm just gonna dot that blush on like so and then we can use a brush to blend that out. So I'm gonna use a Luxie tapered highlight brush even though this is a highlight brush. Use your brushes for what you guys want to use it for. It's not always what they're labeled as. So I'm just going to smile and try to blend this out and hope for the best. This is going to help all those powders melt into my skin better. They're going to help get rid of that cakey look if you happen to get that look. 
but we're not gonna let it dry all the way yet oh my gosh I haven't worn highlighter in so long I don't really wear highlighter anymore it's crazy because if you knew me like freshman year sophomore year of college like my highlight was elite okay like I took my highlighting game very seriously now it's just like first of all I don't even wear makeup like that anymore and if I do, I kind of want, like, the minimal, like, inner glow highlight. Going with the oldie butter goodie. Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight kit. Oh, my God. I remember when I bought this. I bought this in college. Obviously, this is a very loved shade. And I mixed these two. This is what I used to do back in the day. Back in the day, yay, yay. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and this is the waterproof one. You can definitely wear eyelashes. I would usually go for AliExpress lash, and don't be popping. So I'm gonna wear my AliExpress lashes, and I'm gonna take some House of Lashes lash glue. I applied some lashes, and now I'm gonna go in with the lip. I'm a, a gloss girl, so I'm going to go in with my ColourPop lip liner. I love ColourPop. They're so affordable and their products are bomb. This is the ColourPop BFF3 lip liner. For this look, I'm going to go in with Beechwood by ColourPop. It's one of their juicy lip pumping, lip pumping glosses. So going to go in it's a minty, highly reflective, high shine gloss. Hit my face with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I think that's pretty much it. So yeah guys, this is typically how I do my makeup on the regular. Gloss, skin. You know, this is really what I typically go for. You guys could add eyeshadow if you want. You guys could add eyeliner if you want. Lipstick, whatever. It's really up to you. I just wanted to demonstrate how I do things and how my face is looking. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. I basically created this YouTube channel to use for my creative outlet. I used to be really creative and you know I just really want to get back into the groove of things even if this channel don't really flourish the way that I wanted to I'm just here to have fun where I could just do the things that I want to do and show it to you guys or even for myself I just like documenting stuff like that so thank you guys for tuning in to my video this is how I achieved this look and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more content from me follow me on my social medias i'll leave that listed down below as well as all of the products that i use for this tutorial and i hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful 2020 bye guys thanks for watching